What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another Patreon request. This one comes from my boy Robso. He requested I do the second part of, I believe, his last request or the one before that, which is an incorrect summary of Elden Ring Part 2 by Maxor. That was my first time reacting, reacting to Maxor and his very energetic, very funny, very fast paced editing style, which I thought was perfect for Elden Ring. But if you guys have any other requests you'd like me to do, uh, check out that Patreon that isn't available over there for a direct request. Otherwise, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out, especially if it's any Max or anything like that, because this is a new whole new world I haven't stepped into. So thank you again, Rob. So but let's hop right on into this. An incorrect summary of Elden Ring part two. Do not play this video in the dark. It is very scary. Uh, Seizure warning. So there's going to be some flashing lights. So beautiful. Not playing it in the dark, thankfully. Until I showed up. Welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring, one of the games of all time. I want to know how role playing mechanics, riveting combat, <laughs> cool math games, happy we host, and probably a story so convoluted that entire yeah, yeah, that is that is so it. true. It is crazy. You know one thing, Melania is definitely the blade of Mikola. When we last <laughs> I heard that so many times. I am the blade of Mikola. Percy Jackson, but do not worry. The pain I want to know what is a uh, Adobe Premiere timeline looks like with Elmana and this guy does it must be insane i love it have also seen jojo so with the elden ring shattered and i have not yet sadly it's time to tear our way through enemies of plenty attempt to find a girlfriend almost impossible and test the doki doki literature club our greatest challenge yet and also the easiest challenge for the rest of the game okay intro what is this an anime yeah right car Morgoth. Now, we'll let you guys know. It's been a little bit of time since I played Elden Ring now. It feels like I'm starting to forget some of the stuff. So if I forget some of the stuff, this might be a great little refresher for me. The King and the Serpent. Last time on Blatant Copyright Infringement Fair Use Edition, we struggled to take Grandpa off his life support with violence, deliver Garfield his <laughs> precious lasagna, and finally convince Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with nuclear fire. Jesus. I'm dead serious. Dead Hell, serious. So fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We're moving I wish I could run like that. Speed. You know, just when I was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger, it gets significant. Uh, yep, it does. The developers are okay, especially since they're trapped in the same room as that man it turns out <laughs> nuclear weapons are a great way to excavate the earth and there are no long-term consequences <laughs> yeah an entirely new area to explore giant fucking hole no, we're not going to visit the blue man group again i still have the nightmares i, I absolutely to do season. too i need to leave as soon as possible Hello, traveler. Ah. It's a woman. I'm possessed of four arms, and that is what tickles thy fancy? Pringles can. Are thou no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? Can you throw yourself into a wood chip? Listen, I have never seen a Caucasoid run that fast. I kept yelling, go white boy, go. <laughs> go <laughs> white boy, go. May I ask why? That is very true. Nope, we can't know why either. But, uh, bye, Ronnie. I apologize for that. I may not have known at the time. Fucking Minecraft. An absolute rabbit hole. One that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing territory in the future. This shit makes Blighttown look like a playground. Welcome everyone. Yeah, I'm literally getting PTSD. I'm literally getting flashbacks. Which is my preferred enemy. I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite Japanese anime, Kill the Cats. I need to actually watch Kill the Kill. Don't worry. There are dozens of skinwalkers waiting around every corner. Just knowing that makes me feel very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in fact myself me i am the boss of the level what was that thing called that was like one of the best summons in the game until they nerfed the shit out of it right i'm forced to fight the only mimic yes oh my lord this battle is uh, a yeah. concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Not that you would need it, because if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is my Me. Yeah. The boss's weakness is naked anime women. But overall, <laughs> it was a great experience taking revenge upon the man who ruined my life myself unfortunately as a result of that battle i have destroyed a part of myself i have killed my artistic integrity hey guys i built an entire torture chamber for animals in hardcore minecraft and if you want to see how i exterminate the innocent stick around until i kill my son i feel like if you showed this video uh -huh. to a Victorian child he would die instantly and speaking of dying we've returned again to jump scare junction that's right i lied to you i give dora the wrong directions this area is an <laughs> yeah. identical copy of the last time pretty much the same puzzle, the same 
same enemies and exactly the same boss but exactly just like this video now don't get me wrong i love beating canadians to death but please <laughs> do not because of the elk knock and boss torture now i see most of the area it's pretty nice you know kind of short introduces the man i didn't realize how creepy some of these things were i guess i should have steel ball run but what i really want to find is this knife which is a surprise tool that will help us later with this i may now cause many kitchen nightmares let's uh, go talk to someone who actually knows what's happening right now not you, though the alternative isn't much better. Hey, hey, Tarn. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Who had all the info? Knife.png. <laughs> so you know what it is then. <laughs> now, but if you desire a refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie the Witch in her Carian Call Center. Oh, Not the Carian Call Center. Center. Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's uh interesting. But I must warn you, Tarnished, the temptation of a blue gash is strong beyond belief. Uh I too have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. Just Jesus. What those four armpits. Okay. Okay. Welcome to fucking. What is it? Highland? Hanland? Hanland. Most definitely Hanland. Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical. Oh my god! The fucking mods. I hated this whole area. Department. You simply need to get through it, but you will lose a part of yourself. I want to shake. I want to shake your hand. On the ceiling and within my nightmares, they are ninety percent of the enemies, and the remaining ten percent kind of remind me of myself. Jesus. I hate this area. I'm twenty-three years old and making YouTube videos. As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going. This is one of my. I like Renala. One of my more favorite boss battles, just because of the look, you know. You know, like a hand. I too would kill myself if I was written by J.K. Rowling. I can't even search for pictures of normal knuckles on Google because I keep getting this fucking echidna. Human knuckles just makes it worse. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah. So after dealing with my Oni Chan and killing Oni Chan, the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead. Okay, Mr. Editor, you need to make an Elden Ring montage. That was kind of clean. Available at this address. This fight is actually an iteration of the previous Tree Sentinel boss. Ah, how did I not even pick that up? Say I have a lot of practice with the move set. Yeah, died on the Tree Sentinel so many times. Even greater speed and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't belong in the battlefield. They belong in the McDonald's menu. I can't even turn the bastard into glue anymore. This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss. I haven't read Animal Farm since seventh grade. We'll see in five minutes. The magic earns her very true. comfortable spot in B tier right next to herself, but that is a story for uh, part 19. So for now, I'm just going to send her to a farm upstate. Get a mean stolen. Game for, uh, and, uh, haven't slotted a spell. Now, as a full metal damn, my <laughs> we have finally unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the right. Okay, Doki Doki Ronnie Club. The arc where he eats the classroom. But to get to that, we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all, the copy paste key. If we can teach magic to fucking dragons and dogs, I, I didn't even know he had that ability. He could make a giant ice sword. I won't lie, I kind of just ran behind. Behind him and I avoided him for a good little bit till I was overpowered. And then I killed him. Brittle. He, he's gone. Okay. He chosen piece. I guess all that's left to do now is enter up Toyota High School, so I can finally meet the love of my life. How did he edit all this? It's so well edited. Ohio goes I must. Ohio goes I must. the Among Us, Morbius, Among Us, sus. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh God, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this one. Tell you what, I'm also in the business of killing God. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. Is that a bad thing? Is violence and movies? Oh God, she. Of course, I always chose serve. The first mission is to kill my brother, Satan. You can find him inside his volcano. Are you trying to kill me? Don't come back until one of you is dead. Well, I guess that's it then. Time to take the elevator so I can talk to my sleep paralysis demon. See, oh God, no, hearing the story and the missions just put bluntly. Please leave me alone. Makes you like, oh, this is kind of deranged. It's an answering machine. Please record your message. Chapter two. Made in heaven. Made in heaven. Keep it on the book and eyes over heaven. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have my date with Ronnie Senpai. Fortunately for us, there is an elevator. Thank God the mountain of death is wheelchair accessible. You just gotta watch out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not wanted here. So Jesus. we enter the large elevator, custom built and designed for the new American male. The grand lift was so cool finally getting there. Felt so good. Zinga to the Altus Plateau, land of the fourth demigod and his magic treehouse. I originally meant to go to the volcano immediately, but 
This area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys. There are two <laughs> paths that it takes to traverse this area. You're like, damn, I want to explore. Or the Forest of Immaculate Pain. You know, I did both of them, but this one is funnier. Welcome everyone to the Worm People Dimension, a region totally unique in how it decides to kill me. You see, the inhabitants have a special status effect called death, and the effect of death is that it kills you rather yeah. easily. And uh, there's quite a few of them. My favorite example is definitely Wormface, who is. I hated these. They're so creepy. Are basically instant kills. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're going to be sneaking into Big Shell. Raiden, you have to stop the Facebook algorithm. I need to play Metal Gear Solid too. So after but I heard I never did. Or just teleporting past it, because you can do that. We continue exploring Bikini Bottom, so I may find the maniac. Just don't turn around on the bridge, because uh. <laughs> He is there. So for the next part of our journey, we make our way to the wind. Oh, room, this is, is yeah. This was uh, even more creepy. Fun time. You know, I this was the creepiest spot. This is a bit much. These bitches really do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement. Yeah, center. it does remind you of Midsummer. You don't make them angry. Oh my god. Very easy to calm down. So with our domestic situation now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you. Oh yeah. Like, Welcome back, everyone. To the was that a JoJo's reference? I'm just kidding. Be fighting Slenderman. Gotta collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you ever think that was his timeline, I just wanted to see that. And his combos are longer than it is premiere. Holy shit, his timeline is crazy. If you shout out to you, Max. Think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. And to make things worse, we have a second phase which made me scream audibly. Finally, the spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss that required an exorcist before, but right, at least was better at the game. To be so, uh, that's not the last time we're gonna see him, although I wish it was. Oh, uh, so yeah, you should fight when you fight both of them together. Oh, my god, of healthy eyeballs, and after being welcomed very nicely by the residents, we catch a glimpse of our next destination. The next destination, Lindell. All you have to know is that I really want to get there because I am a moth, and also this anime girl. Naturally, my first instinct was to head to the front door, like the feds outside my house, but these instincts were not correct. Also, some people say my videos are too fast, so here's a dog. So instead of whatever that is, we need to take the side route to get in. Why did he do the arcane song with the SpongeBob remix? We find that the way is blocked by the dreaded most powerful enemy of the, the draconic tree. His fireballs were so fast. Oh, and the lightning. Oh my god. I could literally verbally recall to you guys two of my friends raging immensely on this boss for hours to put this another way he's tougher than my dad and hits harder than his belt not much is different this time around though except for the damage that is very new this is just like my redmi note 11 pro when i criticize the chinese government overall though this boss is a very cool reskin and a literal gatekeeper for the content ahead which is why i decided to exploit him using my horse just like the mongols oh yeah hey, you cannot buy you i mean maybe you can without the horse but I was on my horse like crazy dodging those fireballs. So with the evil lies of capitalism out of the way, it's finally time to head inside. This is what we've been building up for for 13 entire minutes. And when I got there, I was so taken aback by what I saw that I fell off a cliff and died. Great start. <laughs> Welcome to fucking Sears. Listerine, royal capital, a land that pleases the eyes and destroys my ears. The sound of the smoke. <laughs> yeah. I remember those. Getting one of their weapons though was kind of cool. The blower, the blow. How fucking big it is! And yes, we. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna forget the joke. I'm gonna move on. Dragon, you can climb it. These enemies, they can climb me when I am six feet under. Enter the buildings, peruse the streets. There's so much in this capital. It's crazy. I love this game. This game is Dark Souls four, five, and fucking six. So I ask again, are the developers okay? That's what I'm saying. So after our encounter with Band Class, we move throughout the city, becoming acquainted with its welcoming residents. And there are so many different paths that it's actually hard to talk about you can go down the streets and die go to the storm drain <laughs> and die the depths of hell where the catholics go or you can go to the bad side of town and die to the exploding worm i hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience Just right don't enter this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men seriously this is an entire dungeon in and of itself oh yeah the sewers trying to get the dung man whatever his name was oh my god first off i was lost then those big oh. 
probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. I will have to deal with him later, preferably Mog. He stops dealing with me. Wait, is there a different Mog in there? Guarded and becoming one with the graveyard, we ascend to the next level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above. It's pretty beautiful, but I would suggest installing railings because I am stupid. And also this anime. Speaking of which, here's the uh, next boss. He just kind of Yeah, the, the ghost of Godfrey. Friendly piss. Now I could get into this boss, maybe talk I like his fight. He seems like such an anime character. But he is up very phoned in, and we're going to get quite familiar with him later. And also, he up has a stand, so that's how you know he's getting. Oh, see, he's like a JoJo's character. Since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Maybe should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree, so I can finally kill God. I've always had a grudge against that guy. After all, he made the British Isles, and some crimes cannot be forgiven. True. Uh, this is more. Morgit? Mor who gets no bitches Margit. It was like Morgoth's brother, right? How are you alive exactly? How are you still single? Right? And you're like, how are you alive? I killed you. The demigod's family. But that was before I became racist. Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for not. For I have never lost. Oh, his sword was so sick. Cancel culture strikes again. He said, I'm racist. Oh god, this fight is good. Like, really fucking good. I just didn't sign up to play Sekiro today. That quirked up a very busted down sexual style, and his secret is methamphetamine. This shit is fast. Very, very fast. Faster than a Genshin player's trajectory to prison. So fast that the hammer doesn't even wait for phase two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, god yes, damn. Weapon change color at will. It's like a speed run for epileptics. That's kind of cool, though. Editing-wise. Speed, not just the mobility. And Definitely not just the damage, although there is a lot of that, but just how many fucking moves this man has, and all of them have different attack speeds, so have fun with that. Right. Around, we've got daggers, hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember when Dark Souls bosses were just an obese man. We were so young, <laughs> but this does beg the question, why was Morgoth just hanging out in front of Stormvale? Was he getting his groceries? Did he use a VPN? The only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you, and yeah, I can fucking feel that. I also hate me, so to come out on top, we've got to remain quick race the Ooh, inside of our that was a good dodge fire online sources with correct i'm telling you an actual elden ring montage would look kind of sick just the way you dodge i mean i've seen so many tiktok edits you know attempting deicide morgoth will bring you the home depot experience whether you're ready or not and the answer is usually not See, look at this little edit this looks sick shout out to Margit shouts out Maxor. I'd watch an edit like this. Ooh. And he's dead. That was a great ass fight, I won't lie. It was a hard Not Blasphemy Boulevard. For me to claim my rightful throne. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wait, I can't go forward. The thorns won't let me. You're like, wait, shit. Oh, this probably has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh, well, time to go. My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. So, uh... Yeah, that's great. Look, I need help getting into the glow stick tree. Do you have any shears? Oh, why didn't you say so? No reason in particular. Nah, don't worry about him. He's, uh, doing stretches. For the next 5,000 years. What? Anyways, you need to, uh, burn the tree. Excuse me? You need to go to Giant Mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a road flare. You are scaring me. The pain is immense and without limit. How about I just go kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me! <laughs> Chinese Welcome smog factory, Jesus. Gameplay, oh my, those were my least favorite. Oh, I swear to God. Just Satan, Lucifer, the big D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano where he intends to commit blasphemy in peace. Just one problem, we gotta climb that shit ourselves. And the main way up is, uh... A little bit linear. I Hell yeah. Habsburg family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter.com. My favorite part was the horrifying darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something is after me. Bro, he could edit this is. game to be so creepy. The way he does this, I swear. Half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of 
special. Just gotta I... take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jumps in. <laughs> it feels a bit like every level collaborated to make this one. We've got people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better believe that the hands are back. We even get to see the um the handyman himself. He's getting really out of hand this time. You could say that I have my hands. The first boss in the, in the game, game, right? Technically. Joke in the video. So after climbing up a little bit, you know, three ladders in a row, we gaze over a cliff where upon patches just breaks my fucking skeleton. Guess I, I forgot about patches. It's been a minute since I've seen him. Him. Fun, though, especially when my computer decides to work. It's like Disneyland for Victorian peasants or just Yugoslav war criminals. I think Satan might be up to something. It's just a guess, though. So, after three days of assorted undersea mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. But See, I got the letter, the invitation from what's her name, so I just teleported right there. But traversing that on the first time would have been crazy. This is giving me. I feel like I'm inside of a gaming PC. Maybe this woman can give us more info. Hello, Tarnish, and welcome to the Red Manor. Is this? Is it Lily Pichu? Okay, she's a VTuber. No. I like her voice. Anyway, can I interest you in joining the forces of Satan? We offer coupons. For what exactly? Mostly funerals, but sometimes fesco. <laughs> well, you know what? I do want to attack God, and the mood lighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh, you don't sign. You kill. What? We crave innocent blood. You did have to do like three assassinations for them beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> I think I chose the wrong voice actor. Hail Satan! <laughs> I serve Satan now, my outfit needs to get a little edgier, and my weapons need to become a little... Vendor. Okay, what is RDC World? I swear he rocked the science for so long. A fresh recruit to the Army of Darkness, I now have access to the office break room. It is surprisingly nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends. I am not paying taxes. <laughs> also, half my fellow demons have scoliosis. I so know. I just collect our first target. You know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to. All right, killer. Good job. Second one. Okay, you JoJo's. This looks sick. I need to watch JoJo's, man. I think we might be the bad guys. Just kidding. I don't think. Oh shit! Wrong door. Congratulations, traveler. You have proven yourself my finest sin. My sins are unforgivable. You get to meet Satan now. No. Oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Can I leave now? Have fun. Uh, hi there, Satan. Did Heck yeah. Satan? I don't think he liked that one. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today Hello. we're going to be trapped in, um, hell. That's right, bitch. We're in fucking hell. Yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins. Don't ask. So now that we're in hell, I Oh, those were annoying, those uh, like I already said the worst. And also all the landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate this new landscape of fire and brimstone, we must venture into the many circles of hell. Each one complete with their own trials and punishments. Hell yeah. No now, pun intended. Me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber and my <laughs> is continuing to make this video. It is four in the morning. That's three minutes. Oh my god. The first thing is an anger direction. This tells us that we're in the circle of Right. The Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of us. Sugma Kokomi. Boy, I sure do love. Genshin Impact video very soon. Just gotta turn this corner and uh. Why is he just standing there? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me uh anytime later. Oh my God, it's him, the Caprese Demon. Now for our next stop in every Denny's ever made, we're heading into Hell's assisted living center, which <laughs> is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was the punishment. Jesus. Also, Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which we find ourselves in the circle of gluttony because the residents are a bit uh a bit sluggish. I know, very funny stuff. It's time for some fun <laughs> volcano facts with Maxor. Did you know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping? Try to do it in real life. Actually, at this point, the lava is more of a suggestion. Summer enjoyers be like, at least there be no snow. Oh boy, I sure do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. Hell yeah. So we're finished navigating the, um, kinky neighborhood. We head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists after being dragged into the storm drain. <laughs> Their Sisyphean 
punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail. Delete every other website. You have to fuck and suck on Gmail. Now, Jesus. Me, I'll be attending mass to steal the line. See, now it... He was annoying as well, but when you fight him and the other one together, that was such a hard fight because they're so quick. Hey guys, welcome and he does that roll thing. Oh my god. We're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not what I meant when I said the skinniest Reddit mod. I have had a few too many communion wafers. Jesus. Before it's considered one entire Jesus. This is your body broken for me. Now, unlike the other foreskin brother, the absolute girth of this man might make you think we're in for a slower fight, but you are wrong. That would make the game easier. Right. You think he would be slower, but no, no. impressed. I hate that right there. Please consult your doctor before engaging in any Nikocado maxing. I think that Nikocado avocado, Jesus. Finally, the bloated design, body positivity. No, I have body negativity. Also, holy shit, this music goes hard. This is an absolutely inappropriate boss theme for the inside of a Walmart. I think it's about time that we shave off some of that excess skin. Come on. Do it. Give me your skin. Hell yeah. Good fight, Maxor. The Godskin Butcher. Flesh, you should pull it off. So now that I've officially shot Biggie Biggs, we can finally grab the arm. <laughs> and continue on our route towards the average Californian summer. Me being Jesus. Sad, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. That's right. We're finally here. The heart of the beast. Home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, Washington. Also, um... More ladders. But honestly, it's a bit, uh... Easy to get lost in here. I bet. Though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about besides the uh the egged one, just your standard committee of child skinners. So we're just gonna teleport straight to the boss, which is the actual way you do it because of the reasons why. All right, Satan, I've served you for too long. Now prepare to feel my the god devouring serpent. You're like, wait, and then you have to use the special sword. That was actually one of my favorite boss fights, just for that sword. Makes you feel like an anime character. Internalizing my abuse, and today we're going to be fighting the uh, we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to Google how to kill him because as it turns out, the reptile exhibit is in need of some heavy ordinance of which I am an expert. The serpent hunter is, and I quote, on some anime shit. Uh, hell yeah, see. Specifically built to kill just snakes, you know, like a secretary bird. It's also uh, three feet from the entrance. That's like <laughs> chocolate out in a dog pound. God may give me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We just went from storm ruler to storm meter stick. This fight is the coolest. Storm ruler to storm, storm meter. Meter stick weapon, and the damage is absolutely biblical. My Hell father, yeah, Kane beat his brother to death with a rock. The only drawback is that you are too strong, and dodging him is a little easy. Because you do feel kind of overpowered, I won't lie. But as an anime main character fight, this one's fucking sweet. Just ask the war crime trials. Jesus, I have something to admit, guys. I didn't really kill anyone in the war, I only kill people like you tomorrow. But as for this boss, his difficulty does not get in the way of the fun, of which there is plenty. I think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> I used to always want to be slimed. The animal abuses me. So with that out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this noodle from endangered to extinct. And then just when you think it's over... Jesus, aren't you dramatic? You're like, wait. This is just a post-death cutscene, right? Demigod of Mount Gelmir, number 15, <laughs> Raider Riker. <laughs> Don't do that <laughs> anymore. That you are trying to cut off my pet snake. Welcome to the top 10 Elden Ring bosses. The last thing you want on your journey to hell is to join the Serpent King as family. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. This is so, so badassly edited. It's Satan. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the second phase of life, also known as death, and today we're going to be fighting the human centipede along with everyone he's ever So seen. fire. That's right, this entire time we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet. Not to mention I'm carrying the souls of four entire demigods, so I just delivered Rikard his fucking pizza. But if you want to get eating, first you have to get eaten, buy an immortal snake, and live on him like a tumor. That's called making a deal. Now as for the gameplay, it's um, a little intense, you know, kind of spooky, kind of makes me cry, <laughs> because this boss, on top of his normal... Normal move 
that can use every snake attack, just like Metal Gear Solid. But Orochimaru looking ass. That happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive skulls at the loudest possible volume and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil. I guess hell was just built on a missile system. I could not tell you what's happening on the screen. Right now. <laughs> the best way I can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage, just like playing Valorant, but in a good way, unlike playing Valorant. Even still, this battle is not about that. It is all about the spectacle, the weaponry, and of course, the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely correct. Hell yeah. A bit, but if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle may be long, you know, like a, like a, like a cat, goddamn, does it deliver. Ooh, I'm telling you, he's gonna edit it so cool again. Look at that. I'm telling you, an anime montage of an Elden Ring boss fight could be so sick. That music. Point me to the ground. I look bad. Oh, I completely had no idea what the words were. I, I butchered that. That was badass. Hey, so uh, I might have killed Satan. <laughs> yeah, isn't she like eating on his remnants when you go back there, right? Oh, she's eating what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, what the fuck? Wait, that was Iron Mouse? Who did her? She did Tannis. Okay, I know Iron Mouse. I like her. Shouts out <laughs> Gug Gug <laughs> as Gug. Shouts out to all the voice actors. Shouts out to Maxor for editing. Wow. So I thought it was going to wrap it up in part two. We're going to have a part three for sure. Damn, okay. Again, shouts out to all the voice actors. Shouts out Maxor for that edit. Shouts out Rob So for the request. Love seeing Elden Ring in, in the, the lands of... I'm forgetting what the fucking area is even called. We, all, we got to see Lindell, the Altus Plateau, Rykar, the Volcano Manor, whatever it was called. But oh, the lands between. Isn't that what it's called, right? Such a good edit. Such a good video. Such a good edit. Oh, I love the montages and the funny parts. The anime references are so funny to me. I need to watch JoJo so I can understand more of the anime references. But overall, fantastic video. Shouts out to Maxor. Like I said, let me know if there's any other Maxor videos you guys would recommend I watch. Even if it doesn't have to be reacted to, just in my own time to watch, you know? Enjoyable YouTuber. Um, other than that, I appreciate you, Robso. Like always, make sure to check out that Patreon if you guys want to request me to react to anything. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.